One of the things that's worth thinking about is whether or not that individual that you're looking at is able to sustain convergence. And one of the ways that you can um, elicit whether you feel comfortable with not treating a mild convergence issue is to measure the patient's fusional range or fusional reserves. And to do that, you need a prism bar, although you can use a, a ferropter or refractor head if you, if you want to. In either case, the average change that you should change your prisms by as you go through is about four prism diopters per second. So not too slow, but not too fast. Slightly, Slightly blurry. And when you see two, definitely tell me. Take your prison bar, use a small target, ask your patient to report when things initially go blurred and they can't make it clear, and then when it goes double, but then continue by reducing the prism at that point until the patient reports it's clear and single. Not clear, but I can't okay, see sorry. two. Still, still single, I should have said, shouldn't I? Yeah. Still single? Yeah. Still single? Yeah. Pretty well off my scale then, aren't you? Brilliant. OK, we're going to do the same thing with the other eye now. OK. OK, this will be harder. So, you ready? So, we'll do the um, base in reserves. This is testing uh, your ability to pull your eyes outwards much harder, I think. So, as soon as it goes a little bit blurry, tell blurry. me. Okay, can you make it clear? A bit hard. So, tell me when it doubles. Double. Uh, as soon as it's single and clear again. Excellent. Okay, well done. You would typically do that both for base in, that is with the prism bases towards the nose. Um, by doing that, you're actually effectively making the light move outwards and you're forcing the patients to diverge. And you use base out prism to test convergent or positive fusional range. And there you would increase the prism bit by bit until the patient reports blur or double and you're measuring the ability of that patient to maintain accommodation on the target that you have set and to converge by a greater and greater degree dictated of course by the by the prism normal adequate values for pr prism fusion range are a little bit variable depending on how you measure them and how fast you go and the target but for base outs patients should really report blur point um, when the prism bar is either 16 or greater. So in other words, they shouldn't report blur before 16 and diplopia should not occur until the patient is at least at level 25. And then recovery rates, the, the recovery rate should be as quick as possible, but no less than 10 prism diopters. And if you're looking at base in reserves, that's actually much lower usually because it's much harder for people to diverge than converge. The blur points should be around about 13, break points should be at 20, and recovery should be around about 10. And after you've done this a few times, it's actually not very difficult, but after you've done it a few times, you'll understand what normal is for normal patients using your technique. And then you should reference your own patients to, to that technique and you should try and use the same technique every time you do it so that you've got something accurate that you're comparing to. But a common, um, common test in orthoptic practice is not so often done in optometry practice. Few, prison bars are available um, from quite a number of the manufacturers. They don't cost a huge amount of money and they can add a huge amount to um, your management of patients by understanding whether the convergence is, is normal, not so much normal, but whether the patient can cope or not with the level of convergence that he or she has.